Sales, right, we've got quite a bit that just needs to get done today. So we're gonna crack straight on. Sales, and then I'm gonna show you some more of the stuff that I picked up yesterday and get some of that stuff listed. As always, starting off over on Vinted, Sharky Sharky has picked up these two Michelin straw hats. He said, love the videos, mate. Ignore the haters, they're just jealous. Absolutely, six pounds, 66. I appreciate it, mate. Seven pounds and 55, we finally sold the Reggae Beach Rush Slowly St. Kitts t-shirt. This was three pounds 50, two pounds 75, something like that. Apparently it's as seen on the TV show, Below Deck, Below the Deck. Emma watches all that junk. Four pounds forty-four sold the Lyle and Scott shirt. Sitting around for ages, wasn't doing anything, so I reduced a load of stuff and accepted offers. I think I paid like three fifty for this. Got a message. Cheers, Ricky. Me and the missus watch every video I upload. Started to do my own TikTok. Get underscore minted underscore on underscore vinted. Get minted on vinted. TikTok. Get minted on vinted. That's from Briggsy Guna on vinted. Tony and Sarah. I appreciate you both. Now, April's picked up some more stuff, but I'm a bit annoyed. I don't know what's going on. I've got to try and find it. So she's picked up a bundle for £12.93. We've got this little Bridgestone Motorsports hat. Really quite a cool one. April's also picked up the Buzz Lightyear paper towel. I don't, bless, I don't blame her. I don't blame her. It's quite smart, that is. And a little Anna Club plush dinosaur. Not dinosaur. Lion cub. How do I get those two mixed up? But I can't find the lion cub. So I'm going to give that some more hunting before I do anything. I don't want to waste any more time this morning. I've already spent 15 minutes trying to find it. It's not in the box that I put it in. The thing is, little things like that, when Ada comes in to watch me work or sit with me while I work, her little fingers start diving in boxes and she starts pulling out things that she likes. I'm sure it's here. I've just got to find it. So April, I massively appreciate you. Hopefully I can find it for you. I got a bit carried away with myself when packing and forgot something. I've actually sold a pair of Ernest Jones earrings. These have sold to Gary and Carolyn. They said, hi, Ricky, me and the missus love your YouTube videos and watch them all. Keep on making us laugh. I have the same problems as you and totally understand the numbers thing. Thank you, Gary and Carolyn. Gary and Carolyn, thank you both. I massively appreciate it. Sorry that I forgot to do the order on the way to you today as well. Maybe tomorrow, actually. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, let's move over to eBay now. £12.99, we have sold the Braun Buffle wallet. I actually got a message with this one as well. Hi, Ricky, I had to get this and at a great price. Hope you're keeping busy to the run up to Christmas. The North Face Sylvani ski jacket I brought off your vintage store, the yellow and black one, has been keeping me nice and warm on these cold mornings. All the best, Simon, AKA Jimmy Hot Wheels. Yes, I remember now. I think I paid £5 and sold it for 45 I think, something like that. I bought it for myself, but it was too small, annoyingly. So, Jimmy, massively appreciate this, mate. Jimmy Hot Wheels over on Instagram. What did I pay for this? A pound? Beautiful stuff. £15, we have sold the CBB's Ninky Nonk thing. This is actually on the last day that it needs to be shipped. Most of this stuff on eBay is actually on its last day. That's why I'm kind of like getting it through. Paid £3, sold for £15. I wish Plush was free on eBay. £7.50 paid, £29.99 sold is the Drew & Cole soup maker. I actually asked Emma if she wanted this. She was tempted and then didn't. So I've got to sell it. 715 to 29.99, minus fees, minus postage, blah blah blah. 34 pounds and 99 pence is this Technics stack system part. So this is the CD side. You actually do need a ribbon cable in order to connect these. Whenever I get stack systems like this, I always split them out to get more money that way. You can sell them as full and make about the same, but it's just nice and easier this while. I just like it. During the lockdown, stereos on Marketplace is what got me through. I was buying stack systems, splitting them all down and just making whack money. Good money, but a whack of money, because whack means terrible, but I was making good money. $34.99, for in. The first thing to sell from out of that bundle yesterday has sold. Listed yesterday, sold for £19.99. It's like a little light-up Christmas village thing. You know the ones where you stick the lights in the back? Pretty. And we have sold the lady lamp. I paid £8 for this one. It's really nice, like a nice art deco kind of screaming lady. That's what she's doing, okay? £8 paid, sold for £62.99. pence. Normally, I'll be bothered about posting this, like, oh my god, but thank you so much to Leanne. I've got tons of boxes that I can actually find stuff for, so I'm actually looking forward to and listing all of my bigger stuff at the moment. I've been holding off. Now I can do it. £62.99 from £8. Now, I'm going to get those picked and packed, and then I'll come back to you shortly. Not picked, I've already picked them. Whatever. That's the parcels packed and dropped. I also had one for Yodel, which should never have gone through. Somebody bought something from me on Vinted, and I've got all my Yodel off. They're in a BT postcode, so Belfast. 
um, Yoda got through. So it's like they're letting it through, but automatically, I just don't understand it. Yoda was hard for me to get to. That's why it's taking so long to post it. Anyway, whatever, I'm waffling. Parcels dropped off. What I'm going to do is work through this box here. Just grab a load of bits out and just list it, I think. Like this one here, I'm just going to grab a load of pieces, put them up here and show you them. Ah, uh, I forgot that I was showing you this. Right, I've taken photos of some stuff. We've taken photos of the Hornby stuff. That's there, good condition. This one, the red carriage has broken, but not a massive difference. And this one here is in good condition too. These are selling for about 35 quid, quite consistently. These for about 10 to 15. And I can't remember the price on that. I've also listed a PC pad, so... Some bits getting processed, I completely forgot. I'm just gonna grab some more stuff out of here now. To reiterate, my plan of attack when it comes to this bundle that I picked up recently is to get all of the stuff that does not need testing, does not need checking, does not need proof of work before I move on to anything else. So that's all I'm doing. They're not exactly high value items, but they're quick, they're easy, and it starts bringing back the money. Got well, a 25 max Nerf gun canister, whatever you call it. I don't know, I don't know how much they're going for. We've got a uh, silver line, is that an old um, Audi or Lidl, I think one of those is in it, can't remember. But a trickle charger, that'll probably bring in 9.99. No idea. CNG auto rickshaw, pull back action. I don't know if it's any good or not, but. An ink, don't, don't know, I don't know what any of this is worth. We've got some locks, cylinder locks, two of those. We've got a Bentley Continental. Box is battered, but the car's in there. An ashtray, clam ashtray with a removable glass insert. Got to be worth a few quid, isn't it? Not too much, I don't think. Poly pocket. Looks very 2000s, that one. Maybe 90s. 2000, 2000 on the nose. I've seen this before. I've actually had it. I think I've actually got one. I don't think they're worth much, to be honest with you. So that can go in the vintage toy box and just go as a big bundle. Put it there for a minute. Oh no. It's my stuff, I can treat it how I want, alright? Until it's sold. And a D and D starter set, but I don't think it's got my, most of the stuff that's supposed to be in there. I think it's missing bits and pieces. Somebody's had a bash at that. And a grey nickels cricket bat bag. A CR 500 So they're just, do you know what I mean? I don't have to test anything, I'll just take pictures of those and start moving it into there. And one day, when I can be bothered, I'll do a testing day. You dig? Oh, Donna! I keep forgetting to show you the bits that I'm listing. So, did I show you this? No, I haven't shown you that. I think I've shown you the Bentley and stuff, yeah. 101 Dalmatians. I'm now also going to list this Monopoly and take a look at the 2023 folder, but also, you know, I'm just going to take... Well, this is a standard procedure with these. Take this out. Take out the celebrity cards, which is this box here. Is that the one? Just make sure. Yeah, and the rest gets upped off into the bin, basically. I'll just keep hold of those, because you never know when somebody does something amazing or dies. You know, problem. I'll check to see if Tyson's in there quickly. Well, we've gone through them. In these boxes here, the ones that you want to be looking out for the most is the Maradona, because it sells. Mike Tyson, obviously. Doesn't sell as much anymore, but... Uh, Frank Bruno. And there's an Ayrton Senna, but there's also another Ayrton with a car. It's not in there. Can't find it. But out of all of them, they're the ones you want to keep hold of the rest. And then just get the box, tuck it away in the cupboard somewhere. In case you get some big news on one of them. That's what I do. You do what you like, though. Now, I know you probably don't care that much, but I have been promising that I'm going to show this bag of the stuff that I picked up at the charity shop the other day. So let me just get into it very, very quickly. £2 I paid on this. Best in town tag, single stitch, never heard of it before, but just a quite a cool design, nice size, single stitch in this bitch, two quid. That was from the shop that I used to go into when I was a barber, I went into town, found a few bits. This was four pound for an Elmo money box. Four pound, it's by applause. Applause make all the good stuff, trying to find a date on there, can't find one, but it's, it's, it's 90s for sure. Value on that? I've got no idea. Need to look into it. Right, and then of course, five pound paid for this Lamax Christmas Nativity sleigh scene. How horse and carriage, whatever it was. Tom and Bell reached out for this, but actually it's not motorised, so they don't want it. But it's very heavy though. Two pound for Midsummer Murder season twelve. I don't know why Rick told me to buy it. So I don't really want to buy it. I don't really want to. It's worth about I don't know, eight quid. Twenty five pound down to twelve pounds fifty for these 
big chunky crocs there's not going to be a lot of profit in them but there's going to be some good profit in them they were 25 reduced to 12 had my eye on them for a little while now i did pick up the pyrex don't panic don't panic i did pick it up apparently it needs to be eight inches and then i've got a buyer for it already so have a look i don't know exactly how you measure them but that looks about eight inches to me Trust me, I know what that looks like. And a Windsor and Newton. Fantastic brand to look out for when you're talking about paints and oil pastels and things like that. Windsor and Newton do some really good stuff. No idea what this is worth, it's an easel. A little portable easel with a section to open up and put your paints and stuff in. I paid four quid. Two quid! Bargains! They're really cool, they do some good stuff when it comes to painting and all that kind of stuff. So keep a look out for Windsor and Newton. The battery's about to die now, so I am going to leave it there, and my camera is in the wrong position. Hopefully that was a cool video for you and you saw some cool stuff. Still not even halfway through that pickup yet, so it's probably going to be a good few videos on that one.